Hi, this is Kendra at Pencil and Pigment. And today I kind of wanted to do a Battle of the Precision Eraser. So I have the Fiber Castell Pencil Eraser, which is good for teeny tiny erasing. And I have, this is the Tombow Mono Zero in 2.3 millimeters. And I wanted to kind of test them side by side. And then I wanted to do just sort of a control. So this is just a uh, Pentel High Polymer cap eraser. And I'm, we're gonna go through and we're gonna see what's what because I have thoughts and opinions and I just want them verified. So what we're going to look at is the Windsor New Newton Cotman in Fallow Blue, a China Marker, a Pentelic Woodless 9B, Polychromos Colored Pencil in Fallow Blue, a Micron that is blue-black. Um, here is my Mitsubishi Hayuni in HB. Here is a General's Conte um, charcoal stick. Here is a Vine charcoal stick. And here is a General's Chalk Pencil. And then at the bottom, I have three M's. And I want to see if they can do a larger chunk altogether. So, and I used just a stencil from one of my kids' rulers, so that's that. So, let's go through, divide these out, and this can be our Mono Zero, and this can be our Fiber Castell, and this can be our Cap Eraser. Let's make sure we get that on screen. And I'm pressing down really hard. Because I have thoughts and opinions and I want to explain a couple things. That way you have the most amount of knowledge for when you go to purchase these items. And you can know which one's best for you. You can do it, you can do it. It's a struggle. It's a struggle. I think, um, so for one, the Tombow, the Mono Tombow has refills and it comes with three refills. Um, the I only use it for tiny details. So the amount I use it for in tiny details, I think it'll take me an entire year to use up all of it. And I am really scrubbing on that watercolor. Okay. Let's go to the Fiber Castell. And this may or may not affect which one you were going to purchase or not. I'm not sure. If you do a lot of fine detail illustration, then something like this would definitely be a value. If you do huge, splashy acrylic paints, then this is probably not the video for you, but it may be fun just out of curiosity. China marker is not budging. That is a wax. Huh. All right. Let's, for my control, <clears throat> do the cap eraser. Excuse me. And this is a brand new one. So the brand new ones still have the point tip, so you can do better detail with them. Look at all this mess. They may do fine detail, but they are not free from mess. So if you are used to a kneaded eraser, because you don't like mess, these are not the erasers for you. The other thing is really, really hard firm erasers like this 
are not good for watercolor paper. In fact, you really don't ever want to use an eraser on watercolor paper if you can get away with it. If you are forced to use an eraser on watercolor paper, I would say use a kneaded, use a really soft kneaded eraser. <clears throat> and I would say because of the 100% cotton, the loose fibers, that could really, really damage the paper and <clears throat> destroy the integrity of the page. So I would say blot very gently with a kneaded. Don't use a firm eraser. Okay. Ooh, messy. And then <clears throat> let's do the M's real quick. Well, there's my dog. She says hi. The neighbor's dog's talking to her. And then I want to show you what these erasers look like after doing all this work. Because <clears throat> when I see eraser comparisons, that's one thing I don't really see. So let's look, let's look and see who did what. So here's the watercolor. And the top one's the mono. This one is the fiber castell, and this is the cap eraser. Now, you may be like, that's not fair because the pencil eraser is a little bit thicker and the cap's even thicker than that. So, take it with a grain of salt. Here's the china marker. That's just, it's a wax-based. Where you unravel it with a string. Here's my Woodless 9B, and you can see they, they really struggled to lift. Uh, the high polymer did better. The same with the Polychromos, they really struggled. Um, the Micron ink is really tough to see. They barely did anything. <clears throat> the HB, which is just a standard pencil, but I have this really nice Mitsubishi High Uni. It's a really, really smooth pencil. Um, there's still a little bit left, a little bit left, and the, the cap eraser did the best. The General's Conte, it, it, they're so s similar, it's negligible, the difference. Vine the same and then here's the general's chalk pencil and this is what the general's chalk pencil looks like and I used the black one and then here are the M's so I think for erasability The Fiber Castell pencil eraser just does a hair better. Now I'm only using the pink end. The other end, this is the 7057 and it's a dual tip. The 7056 is just the pink eraser. For the life of me, I cannot get this white portion to work and perform. So I only use the pink tip, but you can see how flat it is. So, the caveat to this would be, you need to have a really good pencil sharpener to sharpen an eraser pencil. I am using a Mobius and Rupert, and I'm going to try and show you. It has to be really sharp. <clears throat> it has to be high quality. I think a metal cume ruler or sharpener would also work. But when I see negative reviews, people have a lot of trouble sharpening this. So you need a really, really sharp pencil and you can get this to a pointed tip. This one, I wanna show you what the tip looks like. <coughs> Excuse me, there's nothing left. There's literally nothing left. And oftentimes when I use him, um, I use too much force and I end up bending the tip in weird angles because he could only handle so much before, um, let's see, he was up here, before he starts getting weird and there's a lot of excess right away when I use him. So he gets really messy really fast 
and with such a teeny tiny pointed tip, I'm constantly cleaning the tip so I can keep going and keep using this eraser. Um, it's like the mess is in the way of the eraser after every use. So because of the amount of force I use, I bend this and destroy this one a lot. Like I have a lot of trouble with it because it just doesn't perform like a typical polymer cap eraser. Like the, these cheapy cap erasers perform the best. So this one I could bend and smash and be really hard with and it still moves back into place even when I bend him really harsh with the most amount of pressure. But like I said, the eraser isn't the best. These erasers on these teeny tiny um, precision pencil type, these stick erasers aren't very good. They're just not. So what's the solution? The solution is preference. I would say now that you know kind of mitigate your expectation, maybe have on hand a high polymer that's super pointy, and good luck. <laughs> I hope this helped a little bit and I will talk to you all tomorrow. Bye.